I can't tell you what it really is I can only tell you what it feels like And right now it's a steel knife in my windpipe I can't breathe but I still fight while I can fight Yo 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 what's up guys I don't know why I said yo three times But I'm bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial today And this time it's going to be how to make a basic self lighting um, room and it'll make your text look nice as you can see it looks like crap but when we render it close the McAfee or share real quick but when we render it you can see the text looks pretty nice and you can see these white parts those are coming from the top luminance of the room and definitely it makes the text look really nice now I screwed this is the second take because I kinda screwed the other one up and made it really long because I didn't I Turns out I didn't eat half the things I used, so we're gonna be using another. Um, we're gonna be making another tutorial here, or you know, doing another shot, and it's definitely gonna be way easier because I didn't want to leave you guys doing all that work and then having to delete it. So let's get started. Hold on. I'm gonna save these materials real quick, just so it'll be easier to um, get to them. Let's see, I'm gonna do desktop. I'm gonna do light room hats. Okay. So let's get started here. It is rest actually basically really simple. And all you're gonna need is two floors and um, some materials and text if you want it. Uh, you can also use planes, but I believe floors do work a lot better. So I'm gonna start out with one floor pretty simple you don't need more than you know you can um if you want it bigger you can extend it by going floor and then coordinates and you can change these up to like five or something and uh, you can also change these but I'm not gonna change it unless I need to so let's just bring it in another floor here and we're gonna get your rotating tool and we're gonna rotate that floor about 90 degrees actual as close as 90 as close to 90 as you can get 91, hold on, wait. Ah, okay, now I'm going negative. Okay, so it's gonna be like 90 or 0 or something. Sometimes you just mess around. See what that looks like. That, I think that looks even. But there you go. And that's pretty much <laughs> basically it. And you're just gonna need some uh, materials. And I'm gonna choose my render settings. I'm just gonna choose the um, dimensions real quick. Alright, so made the lines a little smaller and it's only gonna render between these two lines, light and dark, if you can see that. So if there's a little point chopping off here, that's okay. And this floor you don't actually need a bottom floor, sorry about that. So you're gonna take your bottom floor and you're actually gonna drag it on top here. Whoa, whoa, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'm la it's lagging a bit here, sorry. Um, for some reason. But I'm gonna move it back just a bit. And this is going to be your lighting, pretty much. And what you can do is you can create a new material with, um, you can create new materials, and you can just put luminance on it. And I might actually show you how to make these materials, but um, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to actually show you the settings for, for these materials. You do not need that material; you need three, and they're pretty much going to depend what you want. So this is my text material. I'm, I'm going to add text in a minute, and basically what you're going to do is choose your color. I use black and reflection. You're going to want to go texture and Fresnel, and you can turn the brightness up a bit. I don't know why mine was turned down, but it uh, was for some reason, and that's it with that. This is going to be my um, back wall, so the background. I just made it gray and no reflection. You can have reflection on it if you want, but... Um, you know, I, I think mine looks better without it, so I'm going to uncheck reflection, and it's just a color. So, yeah, like that. And I just chose a gray. And for this last one, this will be your lighting, and this is just basically, you can choose the color, make it all white. And you're going to go to luminance, check luminance, and just make sure it's 100%, and that's pretty much it. So, basically, you're going to want to add these materials. I'm actually going to create my text first. So, you're going to want to get in your position. And you, you know, I'm gonna make these bigger. Three, 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 and this. Three, three, three. Alright. Now I'm gonna zoom out and make this way up more. Where'd it go? <laughs> Lost it there, okay. 
There we go. And now I'm just gonna set up set up uh, position here. And this is the this is just a little trick if you want to do this. Uh, you don't you know if the if the wall showing down there, then it should render all right. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, um, whatever. But there we go. That's good set of position. Let me just make it a little more straight here. All right. Right there, looks good. Okay, and this trick here. Um, let's see what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? Oh yes, I'm back, guys. I was just um, cause I was gonna show you a trick, and I for I actually forgot it right there. So, what I was gonna do is was gonna add a camera. In this, if you want to animate it, that's great. You can use a camera, but you're gonna wanna click that, and then when you click when it's black, you can zoom out, and you can see what the camera's viewing. So if you wanna have a different view on things, then um, you can do that there, and then you can just click on here, and you're back to your view. So. That's basically it, and um, not sure why this floor is like this. Uh, freak! I hope it shows the color. Good, showed the color. Okay, now I'm just gonna add the, the color luminance. You're gonna want to put it on top, on that top one, and whatever your back wall color is. I chose gray with no reflection. You're gonna put that on your back wall, and I'm gonna make text now. So I'm gonna go back into this view. Um, mo graph, mo text. I'm just gonna make a basic, basic text. And if your text turns out small, that's okay. You just push, um, you could either push T on the keyboard, or you can click this, and you can resize it, so you just, like, you know, drag, drag your mouse on diagonal, click and drag, and that'll make it bigger. Okay, we're done there. You can either push E or click back on this. And, you know, I'm just going to make that more text to the middle. I just adjusted a bit. Doesn't really matter where it is. I'm gonna put the depth at like really far because it this, these walls are actually bigger than you think. So it's not just like a 60 would be you know pretty long or you know really good. It's actually big. So I'll just put it 200 for now. We're gonna choose gloss, just like um, it was in that example. And font. I'm just gonna pull up a first font. First good font, Batman forever. And we're gonna add our um, color. Now, what I like to do the text to make it look a little better is add some caps, fill out caps. And that should make it look pretty good. You can adjust with the steps and radius. It doesn't do too much, but uh, yeah, that's basically that's basically it actually. And let's see just how this looks. All right, let's see how this looks so far. It's, it might not be done yet. Okay, well, it is pretty good. And um, the color isn't the same, but you can tweak around with the color, make it lighter and darker, and it should be good. And there's probably some settings somewhere, um, but it looks good. And what I'm gonna do on the back here is just make the color, oops, make the color dark or lighter. All right, see how that looks now. All right, see as you can see, it looks pretty good. That might be a little too light on the color. But it's just, you know, tweaking around. So you guys can do whatever you'd like. Um, this is just my example. You can use whatever colors. And that looks pretty good. You can also do a black background if you want. You know, whatever. I don't care. But it, it's pretty simple actually doing this. And let me let me try. See what. Um, yeah, see, you can't see anything really. But um, let's see. What color should I, oh, what color should I make this background? here um you know what? i'm just gonna make it a weird color <laughs> see what that does make it all pink i'm not trying to make it girly i'm just trying to show you how the the color you can see that the color changed on the text and that's because of the fresnel and if you change this to like um if you change this to a darker color You can see that um, you get the luminance on the top. You see, like right there and right there, and um, some on the top. You can't really see it, but you do get the luminance, and it makes it look really nice. And I'm in the luminance right now, but that gives it a nice gloss on the top. See, it looks really nice. And you know, background. You could. You don't have. This doesn't have to be a floor. 
Um, there's a background somewhere in here. Um, I think so you can use one of those and luminance you can use a floor to illuminate that but um, this is basically it guys it's really really simple and yeah that's basically it so um, I hope you enjoyed the video and post in the comments if you want another tutorial and um, what would you what would you like what you would like it to be about um, I do have after effects now so if you want one of those tutorials you can leave a comment but I have not um, learned it yet so it might take me um you know a few days or you know just me to learn it and i am gonna um um start learning it tonight because i am pretty much done with all projects i don't have anything coming out right now at the moment so that's basically it guys and yeah if you want after effects um leave a comment and i'll learn it so yeah um, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe and definitely like the video if you um, you know so i can get bigger and more people will notice the video and definitely definitely subscribe because i do have a cinema 40 intro template pack go to my channel should be the featured video there and you can see that if i have 50 subs up it's probably going to be out already so just looking for the video on my channel and again thank you guys for watching and definitely definitely subscribe peace out guys